All right, so this is a Old Town Sportsman PDL, and the goal here is to clear up this huge disaster of uh, wires over here. So I had this fish finder lying around, um, and so I had it on this mount for Scotty mount. This is what I had on a boat that I had a while back. Um, and then this is actually for the transducer mount. Not sure if you can really see that. Hopefully you can. But it's the Scotty mount um, for a transducer, and also so you can mount your fish finder on top that fits in the in the track. So that works fine for me. What doesn't work is all these mess of wires. Also, what I did here was um, I wired it into a fuse, and then wired it into this. Uh, DC adapter here. I just cut this off of an old plug that I'm I'm not using any longer. And then this is just a, this is actually a a jump starter. I had this line around also. Um, not really using it, but it works really well uh, for this. So I think what I'm gonna do. I actually ordered a, a lithium lithium battery for this um, to keep the weight down. I may just actually use that. I'm not fishing like tournaments or anything. This is just for fun, really. So I'm out a few hours at a time. That's it. That battery should be plenty for that. But it's definitely not going to last you all day. Um, also, what's nice about it is it has the USB uh, plugs here and a um, little flashlight, SOS, other stuff. And hey, if your car battery dies, you can use it for that too. Um, but yeah, to clean up these wires, I'm going to do what I thought I wasn't going to do, which is drill a couple of holes. So I bought this little uh, through-haul wiring kit, uh, Wilderness, and I got it from Amazon. I think it was like 20, 20 bucks, somewhere around there. It's got three of them. Um, I'm probably only going to use two, but I may just keep the other one in case I want to drill a hole on the, uh, on the left side here uh, eventually. But trying to decide where... I'm gonna drill uh, probably somewhere somewhere on around here maybe here and then also this is the transducer which I already have mounted underneath on the bottom side of the kayak uh, Old Town's got those nice little uh, universal plates so I was able to do that pretty easily I'm gonna try to drill a hole here um, it'll keep it a little less visible visible and then I'll wire it all the way around come around and then come out wherever I'm gonna go here so uh, off camera, I'm just going to do some looking around and figure out what's going to be the best mounting opportunity for me. So that'll get rid of all of these uh, wires. And then if I do decide to get that lithium battery, then I'll probably just mount it in the bow. I'll mount it up here in front and um, Velcro it, put it in some type of uh, watertight box. And uh, so I have some flexibility once I get those two holes drilled. Let's see what we got. Not quite sure what that is. Blink plug. Okay. So... We separate these two. We have our little rubber gasket. Oh, okay. So the little plug goes here. Or you can use this one, which is a single hole as an option. How do you get this out of here? Got a little slit for that one. And a little slit for that one. Does this one have a slit? Yeah, it does. Okay, so they're all pre-cut for you. That one's too big. Can't use that one. All right, that's the one right there. Time to drill some holes. I definitely want to check behind here and make sure that I'm not gonna bump in anything while I'm drilling a hole. I think this is going to be the spot right there. Just like that. 
One and three eighths uh, drill bit is what it's asking for. I don't know if I have a drill bit that big. I have a Dremel that I can use to drill out that hole. I have a couple of different options. Let me see uh, what I can find. All right, so I don't have a drill bit. I have some of those flat um, drill bits. I think they're more for wood or soft plastic or whatever that you can use. Speed bits. Um, I have some different types, but I, I, they only go up to an inch. So I found these hole saws that I have, and unfortunately I have one and a half, which would be too big, and one and a quarter, which would be too small. I don't want to start off with this one because it's going to be a little bit too big. Um, it, it definitely won't cause any leaking issues because it doesn't go past um, the gasket or the, or the seal, so it'll, it'll, it should seal up fine. But I'm debating on just using the one and a quarter and then um, just using the Dremel to route it out a little bit further. So you see here, if I use this, it's going to go out that far to the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. This is going to be just slightly too small. I think I'm just going to use this one, and then I'll just use the Dremel, make it a little bit bigger. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you can't go wrong between these two. Unfortunately, I don't have the one size that I need in the middle. Uh, so I'll go with this. Uh, this here. Okay. There we go. I already checked to make, make sure that there's nothing behind here. So now let's drill a hole. So the one problem that I might have is that this middle uh, drill bit isn't quite making contact. So I'm hoping it's not gonna dance around all over. Also being careful not to rub on this part, so I'm kind of just freehanding, but very little pressure. Alright, scary part's done. And yes, I do realize that it's on an angle here, so it's not going to be perfectly round. It'll be a little oval, but I am going to go back and clean it up anyway. Like I mentioned, it's a little bit smaller than what I need, so the Dremel is going to clean everything up and I'll be able to round it out. And I could have drilled a hole from the inside too, but um, that probably wouldn't have made for a very good video. And this way I can visually look it up and look and make sure that it's centered where I want it to be. As we would expect, it's not gonna fit in there. Let's see how that did. All right. So the one and a quarter hole saw almost did the trick. It almost feels like this probably fits better than a one and three eighths. Okay, so now I can take this make sure we're not too tangled up. Take this end of the transducer cable. Take this piece out again. A little rubber part. Um, one part you can't do after the fact is this little uh, washer here. So this fish it all the way down. I got that there. Little rubber gasket. Followed by this piece, just goes on top of the rubber gasket. Like so. That's in there, so I have the rubber gasket in there, and then I'll sneak it through. 
So, that cleans that up quite a bit. Now, we come back over here. All right, so the way that this goes on, just like that. So it's gonna go on the back side with these two tabs hanging out. You can use those two tabs to tighten. So I'll fish this on next. Tighten it down. You know something? I'm gonna put the, uh, I think I grabbed the wrong one. This one's a little bit loose on there, you can see. So this is the larger size. There's uh, also two mediums. And then there's these other ones that have two smaller ones. So I'm gonna take this off. I'll grab the medium one. So that's the one I just took off. And that's the one I'm gonna put on. That fits much better. Now it's snug. And it'll get a little more snug too. Oh yeah, that's good. So I got that back. I want to make sure this uh, little rubber gasket is flat, nice and flush. So when you tighten this back uh, nut down, it'll pull it water tight the whole way around. There you go. Alright, so now I have all this excess cable. This I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, I'll bundle it, use a wire tie or velcro or something, but I need to get this I need to get this cable now all the way to the fish finder. So, where should I drill a hole? So keep in mind, this is PDL. So the pedals, the pedal drive is going to be right in here. So I don't want it to really interfere with uh, my foot placement. I wonder if I can put it right there. One of the benefits of doing it this way is this, this fits pretty perfectly. If this was to flip over, this isn't going to fall out. Might not ever work again, but it's definitely not going to... It's definitely not going to slip out of there. Also, don't want to interfere with this here. This is a path for the rod holder. So this little groove is where the front of your rod would go. So I don't want to put anything right here that I could snag on. I really think the best spot is going to be right up there. I mean, I could do another one here and then just run the wire down the track straight up. All right, so after some debate, I decided to go right here. And it, I take these wires out, I can still get my, it's perfect. In case you're wondering why there's three wires, one of these goes in here. This is the power for the fish finder. And I just looped it around so it doesn't uh, take up a lot of space. So to hook it up, power button here. That's it. Powered up. And it would be ready to go if I was in the water. This is a one and a half inch hole that I slightly made a little bit wider. Use the Dremel to file it down a little bit, but it's essentially screwed in to the hole. It's not going anywhere. You can hardly even get it out. 
and I have the screw on as much as I can so it is holding pressure on there but it's just not all the way firm down if you go any higher than this you're gonna run into the thickness of this flat portion underneath the rail um, so just be careful where you put it I definitely took a risk but I measured and did it very carefully also it's hard I, I'm, I have pretty long arms but you have to reach from all the way over there all the way here to get that nut screwed on the back so not the easiest thing to do but I was able to get it done.